Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a quick update on this faux leather smooth glitter that I shared with you in my most recent AliExpress haul. Um, it works beautifully and I tested it out. I had a lot of people asking me if it would work with a regular dye. Um, and the answer to your question is yes. Um, I tested it out on a couple of just basic dyes. Um, or basic bow dye just with a smooth edge. I wouldn't recommend um, a dye that has any like scalloped, um, you know, detail around it. I don't think it will work with that. Um, as far as thin metal dye, now maybe if you had a uh, wooden dye that had that detail, I would say yes, go for it. <laughs> but uh, so the answer to your question is yes, um, it will work. Um, I did cut one out so you could see. So here's the example. Um, I used that bow dye that, that was in my hand and it cut very nicely. Um, let me just show you really quick. Um, when you cut it through your die cut machine, it's gonna look like this. So you see the indentions from the die. Um, and also make sure when you're running it through your die cut machine, make sure you use a shim, run it back. Um, I guess two passes would be plenty. That's what I did. Um, so anyway, it's gonna look like this. And as you can see, it did not cut out all the way, but all you need to do is take a pair of super sharp scissors and these Tonic Studio uh, scissors work really well. And all I did was cut along the edge. And as you can see, and I'll get a little bit closer, um, you just wanna run the scissors very carefully around that uh, cut line that the die made. And if you do that very carefully, it will start to just fall apart. Um, and you will be left with a beautiful bow, but you do have to do this if you're using a metal die. Um, so that's what I did. So that's how I was able to get it to work. And then voila, you have your bow ready to go. So it will work with a thin metal die. You do have to take some extra work versus using a wooden die where you're just gonna run it through one pass. It's gonna look like this when it falls out. All the pieces come out perfectly and you're left with something that looks like this and it looks gorgeous, right? Love, 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 love. I wanna order this in some other pinks. There was some other pink um, uh, glitter paper that they had in the store that was really pretty as well. So I think I wanted to order it in another pink, but um, Biggs wooden dyes <laughs> um, work very well with this smooth glitter uh, uh, leather. So I wanted to show you that. And then um, I did actually cut it out of this dye, this bow dye right here. Um, this is just another bow dye from my stash. It's actually a Mickey Mouse bow dye. I picked this one up a long time ago, but I wanted to cut it out with this to see if it would work, and it did. And again, I had to do the same thing with the shim. Um, so this is the faux leather right here, and it's really, really pretty. This is a great size bow. And then what I did was I actually layered this one with a paper bow that I just recently made from that Sizzix dye. And I just thought this would be a really pretty double layer bow. Um, so I mixed the smooth um, faux leather with a paper bow and this came out gorgeous and I love the size of it. So you can combine it if you want to, just an idea. Anyway, I just thought I'd come on quickly and give you guys a quick update on this smooth, uh, smooth faux leather glitter. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping by. Check the description box below for the product information and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.